Hello, I'm Brandy Agger back at Loosetooth.com. This is Frank, what, how do you say your last name? Vesseler. Vesseler. Yeah. I can handle that. Frank Vesseler from Bacablo Academy. And uh, we are very excited about the Bacablo Academy summer tour across the U.S. And there's a great video about details about the tour, but I wanted Frank to show us what you stuff. can do. Exactly. Yeah. So please, Frank. Okay, so um, we, we already explained in the last video that it's all about um, a very systematic approach in terms of learning basic shapes. It's like a visual language, so learning the syllables first before you can put them into words and then constructing sentences. And um, I mean, so very basic stuff. <laughs> so we're just, so let's just say. So these would, for example, be three um, basic shapes, like a circle, triangle, and then that's what we call a flat S line. And then the question is, so how, what can you, what can, what could you build out of this? And for example, out of this, we typically build a a balloon, right? So that would be a very, very s simple approach. How do I approach um, pictograms and how are pictograms constructed in terms of do I start thinking how do I draw a balloon or what type of basic shapes are in a balloon that I can then use to draw a balloon mm -hmm. for example yeah and I mean this is just one example some of you might know the light bulb the 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 Utsmo light bulb there is a mark so for example I will use the letters U Z M and O to draw a light bulb so probably people can't really read that because it's now, it's, it's inverted, right? Anyway. <laughs> it's okay. I can flip it. <laughs> so. There's the O. There's the O. Then I'll have the U and then, oops, the, the Z and the M. Yeah. And I have the light bulb. So, so that is a systematic approach and everything kind of like starts building on that. And then of course we add shadows mm -hmm. and we start adding colors and how do I how do I overlap how do I create layers um, mm -hmm. what type of layout do I use on a mm -hmm. poster so if I just have a simple flip chart um, yeah but that would be kind of like the basics mm -hmm. how do I very simply construct um, pictograms and then you know building up onto that to building sentences and being fluent and for example having a live situation and then adding words of course to it because we don't just want to create graphical riddles yep. so this is really nice. just the 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 what do I say the icing on the cake yeah let's say so the idea is that these would be the individual letters this is a word a visual word using that analogy and then you can build these these pictograms on top of each other to build more sophisticated sentences exactly and relate them to each other yes so yeah excellent yeah does it work super that works so <laughs> join us on the tour <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.